Hello guys, how are you? How is your trading week? I hope you had a fantastic trading week. In this video, what we're going to be looking at are some chart patterns. In this chart pattern series, what we're going to be looking at are range. Ranges or what this what the so-called uh, channel patterns. Excuse me. Okay, so basically there are about three types of patterns. So these range patterns actually. So the first one is an ascending channel pattern. So in this channel pattern, what tends to happen is that prices will be ranging within these two support and resistance structures while going higher, something like that, right? So it's called a range because it's ranging between two price ranges, right? So all of them, all of the characteristics of a range channel pattern, range channel pattern is that they're ranging in between two price ranges, right? So for instance here, this will be it. Now the second type of range pattern or channel pattern is when prices are ranging in between two price ranges. But they're horizontal like this. This is called a swipe sideways channel pattern. Right? So whenever prices hit up here, they come back all the way down here, hit up here, they come down here, hit up here, come down here, hit up, and so on and so forth. Now, the third type, it's a descending. A descending channel pattern. See that? It's a descending channel pattern. So these are the three types of range patterns that are available in the market whenever, wherever you look at. There are only these three types. Now, how do you trade them? Now, we're going to look at the first. So for instance, you see this price range here. So <laughs> when prices break above here and they give you a retest, if they break above, right, you have to measure the distance from the highest point to maybe the lowest point like that. It has to be the same distance with after the break to wherever this distance will lead to, right? So you're just gonna put, you're going to measure by using perhaps maybe a trend line, the highest point to the lowest point, and then you move that trend line to where prices will break and retest to get your distance to where you're going to be placing your take profit, right? That's for the ascending. If prices do break below here, so for instance, if prices came back, bounced here, came back below here, broke below here, they have to push lower until where the, the trend began. Um, so guys, you're going to have to excuse me. I'm just going to be drawing over the charts like this. So it's going to be pushing all the way until where the trend began. So it's take profit will be somewhere down here. If it breaks below, if it breaks above, it's the same distance from up here to somewhere down there, right? So that's how you measure the take profit or where to place take profits in an ascending channel pattern like that. In a sideways ranging channel, in a sideways ranging channel, whenever prices break either above or below, you just measure the distance from the highest peak to the lowest trough and what up? You get your take profit will be up here. And if it breaks below, it will be somewhere down here. Something like that. So with a sideways range channel, 
that's very easy to always measure take profit uh with a descending channel pattern if prices break above here so for instance prices come back break above here your take profit has to be at where the trend began so take profit will have to be somewhere up here like that if prices break below you have to measure the distance of the width of this thing and that's where you're going to be placing your take profit somewhere down here so um that's how you can actually just trade these patterns easy now let's go to the real charts and see if we can actually find some so that we can actually trade them um so if we zoom in here this is the jpyx we see prices here had a range it's that sideways range so okay as i just said the distance from the highest peak to the lowest trough has to be the same distance after break and retest to where your take profit should be voila you see that where prices are supposed to be ending that's where prices turned around and they just pushed lower um so cool so you can see here on the sideways range prices have respected the rules of the range um so let's look for the look let's look for another range for another ranging market perhaps so we can get another ah here we have a sideways range but prices haven't broken above neither below they're still ranging this is chef jpy Oof, look at this this is gold okay okay um okay so we have here cut jpy prices are kind of ranging sideways range no strong strong break okay so here oz usd we have a uh, upward range and prices have broken below this so what we should be looking for here is for prices to give us kind of a retest before we continue all the way until where the trend began so um that's all i've prepared for today guys on how to trade ranging channels or patterns if this video has been of help to you smash that like don't forget to subscribe and share with a few friends that you believe the video will be of help to them till next time guys i appreciate you all nothing but peace and love from simple trading Cool. Take it easy.